and a 5'2 wheeler. Uh, I haven't, I used to be named Noble Slayer, but I haven't posted on this channel in a while. I'm gonna start doing moto vlogs and probably gaming videos as well, and also car reviews on this channel. Um, if you guys want separate channels, I could do that. Just let me know. But I'm just gonna plan on putting everything on one channel for now. Um, so, yeah, I'm in college right now. I'm going right now to pick up my motorcycle that I just bought yesterday. They said they were gonna have it either in a week or by today. So, let's hope they have it today. They gave me a call. I'm going over there to pick it up now. Um, so the bike that I'm getting right now, the motorcycle, as you may guys know, is a Honda Rebel 500. So I was thinking between the, uh, the Ninja Kawasaki 400cc, but really, I'm pretty short. Uh, I'll have to lower the Kawasaki. I'll have to lower it myself and get a mechanic to lower it as well. And the Honda Rebel 500, I've heard it's a great beginner's cruiser bike and it's pretty fast too. I've seen some YouTube videos about it and it's re really rare to find a Honda Rebel on YouTube, really. Um, I know some channels do reviews about it but they don't really do moto vlogs with one. So I'm going to try and be the first one to do it with a Honda Rebel. Um, I know Dan Dan the Fireman uh, post the Honda Rebel review as well and other channels I forgot some of the other channels names but yeah I'm going to pick up my baby right now uh, yesterday I felt broke uh, I couldn't feel half my body when they said the first price to me but we managed to bring down the MSRP price and I think the total of the bike was around seven grand around there it's because uh, my bike has ABS on it as well. Um, I didn't want my first bike to, you know, crash on me. I somehow locked the brakes, the front brake, and I just crash on the highway or in the neighborhood. So I just wanted to be extra safe. But yeah, I'm getting the Honda Rebel 500 today. And uh, the car that I'm driving right now is a Mini Cooper Countryman. And I'm gonna do a review about this car uh, in one of my later videos. You guys see that pretty soon. But right now, today's just gonna be with the uh, Honda Rebel picking it up. They're gonna deliver it to my house because I just took the uh, that MSF bikers course at Harley Davidson, and I still don't have the uh, M class endorsement on my license, so I have to go to the courthouse or go to the DMV and get that situated either this week or next week but I'm picking up the bike right now they're gonna deliver it to my house um, and basically my dad's gonna be there too cuz right now I have zero credit so um, I had to have a co-signer to be able to purchase the bike and have a low interest rate on it as well because I'm gonna be paying monthly for it as well uh, so I'm, I'm a broke college student I don't have seven grand on me right now <laughs> but uh, yeah right now I'm just working two jobs uh, planning on quitting my first job to find a better paying job because right now I'm getting paid 725 an hour and that's that's barely anything you know um, but I'm trying to get a job either in Target, Publix, or maybe Chick-fil-A, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> damn, right now it's traffic time. But yeah, I'll continue the video when I head over there. So yeah, I'll see you guys in just a second. And also, guys, I wanted to say uh, the reason I'm recording with a phone is because I don't have enough money to purchase a $300 uh, GoPro or any of those fancy cameras like that so for right now until I earn a bit more money with my jobs and save up I'm gonna be able to uh, buy a GoPro and hook it on to my helmet because I spent pretty hefty amount of money on helmets uh, jacket gloves and uh, biker boots as well and the MSF bikers course is not cheap it's uh, actually 225 to join the program 
but it's actually really worth the price because they teach you a lot of stuff so yeah I just wanted to say right now I'm gonna be doing my uh, reviews on my phone I'm sorry for the not the best quality and sound but you guys gotta work with me I'm a broke college student I don't really have that much money right now I'm paying for books I'm paying for insurance I'm paying for this bike so yeah guys uh, just just hold on with me I'll get that GoPro soon uh, also tell me what GoPro to get I'm thinking about the GoPro Hero 8 or the um, Hero 7 I've seen some moto vloggers do Hero 5s, but I don't know the camera quality for those. Because really, not much moto vloggers talk about their equipment setups. So, yeah, I'm just going to try and figure out which one is going to be best. Best video quality, best sound quality. Um, so, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys at the dealership. So, my bike wasn't here today. Uh, but it's coming in tomorrow. They're gonna deliver it at my house uh, tomorrow morning actually um, So I just finalized the uh, paperwork finished signing everything and uh, Yeah, I just paid Eight grand for a, for a bike So I'm just gonna be paying um, Paying the uh, monthly thing which is uh, for 72 weeks a hundred and forty three dollars and 86 cents i think it was and yeah i'm proud owner of a bike and when i was leaving the um the uh, place uh basically my bike actually rolled in on the uh, back of a truck it rolled in and i saw it for a glimpse uh, a quick second you know and i was like damn this is, i could have seen it <laughs> But yeah, guys, I uh, I went to see if they had it. They didn't have it. They're gonna give it, well, drop off the bike tomorrow morning, and I'll do a video of that tomorrow morning. So you, so this will be all set up. Uh, so basically, you guys will see me in one second. I'll see you guys tomorrow. But yeah, guys, just finished finalizing the paperwork. Finished doing everything. I rung the bell of destiny over there, <laughs> and yeah, it felt good. It felt good purchase doing a big purchase like that um uh motorcycle's gonna change my life a little bit you know it's you feel that type of freedom with a new bike and everything um i don't know what to name the bike yet i'm gonna figure that out when i get home and i have the bike in my hands so i'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys just got the rebel 500 in yesterday um there was a few complications. I had to uh, call the dealership, but that's all right. Um, so I'm doing this right now at night, so I don't have the bike turned on right now. So I'm just gonna go over um, what's the basics. So right here is the steering lock. So when you park your bike, no one's gonna be able to steal it which I thought was really cool. It's really new too. And so the ignition switch is not on the tank. It's gonna be on the side right here. And right now I don't have it on cause it is nighttime and I don't wanna wake the neighbors or uh, piss off my parents. So <laughs> uh, right now it's saying the oil, but that's normal. Um, it goes away when you turn it on. Uh, this bike does have ABS right here. And it is on neutral. The display, the gas mileage, I think I got to look it up. I'll do a more informed video in the daytime when I actually have this running. But right now it has three gallons worth of gas. It's like 2.96, but it does carry three gallons so you're getting pretty good gas mileage as well um i saw on the manual that it does take unleaded gas 86 and above so it does take pretty cheap gas as well you won't be spending a lot of money on gas unless you're like completely uh revving this thing up um basically right now i'm just 
In the more in-depth video, I'm gonna go over the seat storage compartment and how to change the oil. Um, so the, basically what happened was the dealership, when they brought it in, uh, they gave me the paper and he, the guy said, hey, all you have to do is uh, I'm gonna read the VIN number and you say yes or no if it matches. I said yes and he left in a hurry. Um, I didn't get to inspect the bike because when he came, I was over here on this section and he was on the left side. And basically I didn't go to this side and check the exhaust and the exhaust came pretty, mm, I would say is paint, but I don't know if that's a scratch or if it's paint. Let me see. I believe it's a scratch, but yeah. Um, so they're gonna take the bike back and hopefully fix it. Hopefully I don't have to pay anything, but I texted them, called. They said they were gonna get it handled. So hopefully there's no charge since it was their fault when they brought it in. Um, yeah, I was thinking of changing the exhaust anyways. For a Vincent Hines, but my dad said not to put any accessories on this, but <laughs> I'm gonna change it either way. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna go over the um, the oil change. The little it's pretty dark right now because I'm in the garage, but basically, you change the oil right here's the oil cap right here, and one day when it does reach uh, 600 miles, I will change the oil. I don't know if I'm gonna go to the dealership to do it, but I would like to do it by myself because they charge a lot of money at the dealership. It's gonna be like 160 an hour, one, 160 or 150, I forgot. But yeah, guys, I finally got the bike. Um, I'm gonna see if I do have a video of me revving the engine. Uh, with my friend, he came over, he saw the bike. Uh, he has a, a Ninja 300, which is pretty dope. Uh, so get ready for uh, vlogs with him as well. Um, yeah, guys, basically this is the Rebel 500. It looks gorgeous in the sun. The bright orange, candy orange is amazing look. And yeah, guys, I'll, hopefully I will have my M-Class license by Wednesday because the um, the dealership, well the DMV slash courthouse thing only accepts the uh, Harley Davidson driver's course certificate on Wednesdays and it's certain DMVs. You can't just go to a DMV and show them the um, MSF completion course. You have to go to a certain one and they'll do it for you. But I'm really excited to ride this bike. Uh, other than the exhaust being scratch, I don't really I don't really give a fuck about the exhaust, but my dad does. So we're going to take that back Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, hopefully I'll have the insurance, the tag, the registration, and everything for the bike. By then, by Wednesday, I'm hoping. Because I'm going to go to the courthouse Wednesday, doing my, um, my uh, driver's license Wednesday for the M-Class endorsement. And yeah, guys, pretty soon you're going to see uh, motorcycle vlogs. Um, you're going to see me and my friend riding around town. Um, I do live in Alabama, so <laughs> I think me and him are going to be like the first moto vloggers in Alabama. Don't don't take me down for that. But yeah, um, I'm going to see if I could hook up a clip. For you guys uh, with me and my friend when we're revving up our engines and I'm also gonna include some pictures at the very end at the very end you're gonna see the um, the sales associate uh, that helped me pick the right bike for myself and ba I I basically love this bike guys uh, I know Honda Honda Rebels get a lot of hate cuz they're like um, the Honda Rebel 300 gets a lot of hate cuz Basically, that's what they use at the MSF riding course. 
It's a good bike, but the 500 has more pep to it. You're able to ride on the interstate with it. I don't know the top speed for this one. I have to do my research, but that'll be in the uh, next video. More research on this bike. Um, I gotta figure out if any of you guys know how to open up the storage compartment on this. I know on the manual it says to open this up and this is plastic right here, but I'm really afraid if I like pull that, uh, it'll break. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna break the bike trying to find the storage compartment and stuff. But yeah, guys, this is the Honda Rebel 500 with ABS and basically perfect bike, perfect everything. They had it with uh, full gas for me and only one mile, I think one mile, let me check real quick. And it comes with two keys right here. Um, I don't know, I know one is probably for something, I don't know. But yeah, let me see. So it basically has one mile on it so far, and it's 8.53. I don't know if that time is right, but I'll check. Um, they gave it to me full gas, they checked the oil for me, checked everything for me. Um, they have been really responsive with the scratch on the exhaust. Yeah, guys. If you ever want to buy a bike, go to Freedom Power Sports if you are in Huntsville and uh, Madison, or in Alabama in general. Um, go to Freedom Power Sports and ask for Amy. Uh, Amy Abbott or Abbott? Abbott? I don't know. But ask for Amy because she's really thoughtful. She's a mom as well. So I was going to get a Ninja Kawasaki 400 for my first bike. But she warned me uh, the insurance is going to be really high on that bike. And I wouldn't want to drop that bike. Um, with this, she also told me for my first bike, I will drop the bike. It happens to everyone. So I was like, okay, cheaper insurance cheaper gas mileage because this basically takes 86 gas and yeah guys uh she didn't force me on anything she said if you do like the ninja 400 go ahead and get it but i'm just warning you i'm a mom i would like you to have this bike more uh, basically, the Ninja 400 was a little bit more in price as well. This is a 2019 Honda Rebel. The 29 Ninja was also, I think it was like maybe $700 more. Uh, but yeah, guys, she was really uh, just a really amazing person. She helped me out a lot. She kept in touch with me. So if you ever buy a bike, go to Freedom Power Sports, uh, want to buy a bike, and you haven't ridden at all, go to uh, Freedom Power Sports and ask for Amy. And I'm also going to do a review on the Audi uh, SUV class. It's going to be a 2.0T Quattro. And right now I'm like shivering because it's freaking cold outside. But yeah, guys, um, hope to see you on the next video. And I'll have a more in-depth video on this bike, the gas mileage, the top speed, um, basically where to find the um, below seat storage, and yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to customize this bike as well, guys. But I did ride it going up and down on my uh, driveway because I can't ride it on my uh, in my neighborhood because that's illegal. Do not do that, guys, if you don't have any paperwork or you don't even have the M-Class license, but you did pass the class, do not ride your bike in the neighborhood because you could get a pretty hefty fine and then that will also go on your insurance. But yeah, guys, um, wish me luck with the exhaust. I don't know if they're gonna have me pay for it or what's gonna happen, but yeah, I can't wait to start riding this bike, guys. I can't wait. I'll talk to you guys later.